So what is the software evolution? Software evolution. So in the software evolution, you know, we know that nowadays operating system is of 64 bits. So it can help to process the bigger size of data, right? Bigger number it can process. So 64 bits of operating system. And the concept of column storage. Concept of column storage. Let us see how the column storage is so powerful. Let me open my Excel. And here we will keep some data and we will try to understand the concept of column storage. Okay. So first we will understand how the row storage work and then we will see how column storage work. Just a second. I'm sharing my Excel with you. Okay. Now hope you are able to see my Excel over here. Now let's see. Assume uh, we are having the Mara table. Okay, Mara is having the partner. Uh, let's suppose one field is over here that the enter, and then one more field. Let's suppose NT is a net. Okay. So partner zero zero one two three four five, right? And the material type row row. Then uh, HALB, HALB, and FERT. And here 20, 30, 40, and 60, maybe 70 over here. And the unit over here, you can write the KG, KG. Something like that, we have the data in the Fumara database. Okay. Now, 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 when this data gets stored, we can see the data in this format when we open the Mara table, right? But actually, when it gets stored in the database, it stores sequentially, something like this. Okay. It gets stored sequentially, something like this. Just a second. I was supposed to paste this one. 